Hey, thanks for watching another video. Today I'm going to be showing my export settings in Lightroom. Um, first thing you come to is export a location. I'm going to minimize this first. Okay, export location. And I have that set to same folder as original, so it'll um, export the JPG or whatever I have it set to to the folder that your original file's in. So that's what I have. File naming. I have it normally just not, I don't have a rename because a raw, uh, going from a raw file to JPG, it doesn't need to overwrite anything. Now, if you're doing a JPG to JPG, you'll want to rename it because it won't, for, for some reason, it won't allow you to overwrite the file that's open. Video, you don't really need to set, do anything with. Excuse me. File settings. This is the main um, thing you want to look at. Have your image set to JPG. You can also have Photoshop document, TIF, F, or DNG, or even original. Um, I do JPG, and I also normally do sRGB. This right here is the main culprit for image size problems because uh, I had somebody asking why um, Lightroom was making the file go from 9 megabytes or so down to 1 megabyte. Well this right here should be the problem. Just make sure the quality is always set to 100%. If for some reason you have a certain file size limit, you can limit the file size to and this is in kilobytes so you can do that if you need to image sizing you want it at 300 pixels per inch and you don't want to resize your picture unless you're resizing for some reason to fit something output sharpening you can do that for print or glossy paper if you're going to do that if you're going to do printing I recommend having that off unless you're exporting a file for printing. You can have it remove all the data or keep it all. I usually have it just keep it all. I don't really care about um, them, anybody having my settings or whatever. Watermarking, you can also turn on the watermarking so you can add a watermark in the picture like right here or whatever if you want to do that. And post-processing after export do nothing or you can show it in explorer or open photoshop whatever you want and then once you're done you just push export and it'll export the file and you can select as many files as you want to export you just gotta make sure they're selected um, and it'll export as many as you want you can also sync files there'll be a little sync button there if you say you do an edit on this one and you like it, you want to apply it to all your images. You select all your images, and then you push sync, and you can select um, each uh, thing you want it to sync, like you know, exposure, contrast. You can select each one, or you can have it check all, whatever. So that is just showing how my export category is set up in Lightroom. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. See you later.